Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. We have our 10 a.m. update, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Central Time. Uh, Tropical Storm Ada has gone way down to 50 miles per hour, going way up to 996 millibars. is still moving west at 7 miles per hour. Now, as you go through the, the forecasting of what is predicted, it's, it's predicted to be a tropical depression all the way around through Honduras, Guatemala, the tip of Guatemala, Belize, and also uh, a little bit of the Yucatan by Mexico, a little bit uh, south of Cancun. Then it's going to go off in, into the ocean. It's going to be a tropical storm all the way to the tip of Florida is what they have so far. Now, what I have is I have the Euro, and I'm going to show you the GFS as well. But this is what's expected so far from the Euro. Now, as it goes around Central America and it starts restrengthening it again, it starts going towards uh, Cayman Islands, Cuba, Tropical Storm. And then when it gets to five days, South Florida, Florida Keys, it starts going down in millibars. And then as it pulls away, it starts turning into a hurricane. Now, it still shows the same track pretty much as this morning. That has not changed. So, Euro has really seen this, and it gets close to Louisiana, as a good potential for what the track will be. And then, as it goes towards the Florida Panhandle, it goes in as a 978 hurricane. Uh, landfall looks like a 98. It might be a, a weak hurricane to, at that point, a, str a strong tropical storm. And then, it goes across uh, Georgia, and then, as it leaves, it it goes across South Carolina, North Carolina, but they're not going to really see no effects from it. However, I do show that South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, you will be getting some rainstorms coming soon, but it's not uh, anything to do with Tropical Storm Ada. Now, here's a precipital water so you can follow it, so you can see exactly the path that it's taken. In Jamaica, you will be in heavy rainfall come Saturday, and then you'll be out of that rainfall again on Sunday. So be aware of that. And then as it goes across, it looks like according to the, this, this right here is your GFS V16 parallel. I didn't want to get y'all confused. This is your V16 on your GFS. I just want to get this over with. I don't have too many more of the V16. The Euro is what I'm showing. It's pretty correct, and I'm going to show impacts from Euro. Um, but it shows that the V16 shows that it goes, and then uh, it's going to be way east side loaded with the storms. Bahamas is going to get massive uh, rainfall being on the east side of this system, and then it's going to curve late. Uh, towards uh, Jacksonville, Florida, uh, Florida uh, Panhandle is pretty much where it's going to turn in and, and meet up and get crushed, for, according to the GFS uh, V16. And then when it gets over there, it's actually going to swirl around for two days, almost like a stall, because the pressure is hitting it and it's trying to fight forward at the same time, and then it gets crushed away. Now, I'm going to go through y'all impacts. I uh, will be kind of quick with this because there is a few places that are getting impacted. So this is the storm where it goes. You can see it down here by Cuba. This is according to your GFS V16. Once again, I want to make sure that's clear because I don't want to co confuse nobody. I'll let you know when we get right back on the Euro. And then there it goes. It dissipates. It forms up on the west side of Florida. And then it dissipates. And that, that's according to the GFS V16. I wanted to bring that out. Because that's, that one's the only one that showed something different. Now here's your 30, 31 members. I love the 31 members. And as you can see, a lot of them start off where it goes to the south of Florida. Is where a lot of the, these models show that where it will meet up and it will begin. As far as early or late, that's a question. But then you see the other models, they all, they all show. Some so eastern, some so western. But they all show that they go down Florida. This one right here, E14, shows that it sits there and just gets stronger. And then this one on E28 shows it goes towards Bahamas and gets stronger. So there are those possibilities as well. And please pause this video anytime you need to see what you got to see. I'm just trying to get so much information out. And if you look right here on the bottom right, it comes back from the Bahamas and it comes back towards Cuba at 966. So that's, that's pretty serious. And then as you go forward with the models, you see what we have left. And even a late one shows, even a late one can come to Florida. So be aware of that. For some reason, they just are really aiming for Florida. That's just where it's going to meet up. 
uh, with the with the high pressure and the low pressures. Now here's your uh, your your uh, low pressure systems, so you can see if as far as where they're going to be and the possible potentials, and they all showing it's going to be over here towards Cayman Islands and the Caribbean. Uh, for the most part, I can see that they all showing a weak tropical storm, and then when it gets across Cuba and starts getting to Florida, this is where things get a little different. Now it starts strengthening when it pulls away from Florida and starts becoming a hurricane. But they all showing that it's trying to make a direct path straight for Louisiana. And then that's the last shot that we have right there. Now here's your, uh, your, your low pressure model so you can see where the low pressures could possibly go to. You can see there could be one early for Louisiana. And we're talking, uh, that's showing 102 hours away. That's less than five days. That's four days away. And you can also show that some of, some of them are showing within 96 hours, Florida's going to be having some ma major impacts. And as it moves forward, the possible locations, they all curve towards the Florida Panhandle and towards New Orleans. Now, if you go through the total precipitation, I'm going to start off with, with uh, Nicaragua, Honduras. You got Nicaragua, you got Honduras, you got uh, the corner of uh, Guatemala, and you got Belize. Since they're going to get the first impacts, for the, for the next 90 hours, this is the rainfall that's projected for you. And it's all this purple over here, or as you see right here, you see the darker colors in there. They go anywhere from 10 to 19 inches. It all depends if you're in the bright purple for having up to 15 inches or the dark purple for having uh, 8 to 10 inches. But the brightest, brightest purple where you can see these little bright spots, these are going to be up to 19 inches. So be careful because there is you know, mountainous regions and that's where a lot of people uh, stay at. So you got to be careful for that mudslides and the big problems that you can get from that. Now here's the Euro, the Euro models. I'm going to show you the total precipitation for the whole track first. And then we're going to go through the track on individual impacts so everybody can know what they have for the area. And this, this is just a windy road. And, and as you can see, it does stop right here, but there will be more storms that do come by for South Carolina, and y'all, I will show y'all. Now, Honduras, uh, Nicaragua, Belize, I'm doing this by the hour so you can see when it comes in, and it looks like Belize, uh, you, uh, Guatemala and Belize, you have about 10 hours, and then the heavy rain is going to start moving in, and then it's going to get even heavier uh, 24 hours from then. But it, will, it won't stay forever. It will go away. And that's why you have anywhere from 8 to 12 to 15 inches because you're getting a lot of the rainfall. Then it finally pulls away around the 7th. It's a Saturday, and it will clear back up for you guys. So God bless you all over there. I hope you don't have no bad impacts. I know mudslides is a big thing over there. Now, Jamaica. Here's Jamaica. Here's Cayman Islands, Cuba, uh, Bahamas, Southern Florida, Florida Keys. Here's the rainfall you can expect. All I could get was the 90 hours because it's still updating, but I will update again this afternoon to make sure y'all know by tonight what is going on. Cayman Islands look like it's coming straight for you. Now here's the low pressure system so we can see as far as we can see. We can only see the 90 hours and it comes right up to the west of Cayman Islands. It's still a tropical storm. Now, if you look at the whole East Coast, you can see the system move. It's by the Cayman Islands in Cuba, tropical storm. And then it moves to the west of Florida and becomes a hurricane. It gets real close to Louisiana. And then that's it. After Georgia, there's not really no effects. But there will be a storm for South Carolina, uh, North Carolina. I'll show you that. Here's your, your uh, satellite view so you can see it fighting the dry air. Back it up a little bit for you. There you go. And it starts fighting it. It comes back forward. It gets hit again. And then it just can't take no more and comes back. And that's what was that's pretty much what saved Louisiana. Look at that. Wow, man. That is so close. Now here's the, the look from the east coast. So you can see the total precipitation. Uh, I will zoom in for, for y'all areas. Uh, this rain, Louisiana, that you see here. There will be a second low-pressure uh, storm system that does move away. Some models show that it, it does like a little Fujiwara effect. Some models show that it's separated and it just gives you all some rainfall over there. But here's a closer look at your rainfall. And this is the other storm I was talking about. Uh, South Carolina, Tennessee, North Carolina, all that area, Virginia. You're going to get heavy rainfall 
uh, is around the same time that Ada's coming, but it's not going to be associated uh, with the storm. Now, Louisiana, you can see right here how close the system actually gets to you. This is on Wednesday the 11th. It gets real close by you, but it don't quite make it to you. And if you look from Alabama, Mississippi, you see your total pre precipitation as well as Louisiana. You do get some heavy ones way down south from that, that storm system that was down there. It's about three, four inches. But this is about as close as it gets uh, to Mississippi, Alabama. And you can see your impacts. Just pause the video so you can see where you need to see. You can see how close the low pressure system does get to y'all. It does come in at 988 on the Florida panhandle so far. And then it goes down quickly, very quickly. Now here's your total precipitation for Georgia. You can also see South Carolina. You can also see Alabama. And this here is from the storm. This up here is from that rainfall thunderstorm that y'all going to be getting coming across the country. So you got to be watch out for that as well. Now here's a low pressure system so you can see where it does go and where it does not hit. And it does die down fast. All that rain y'all get is not going to be from this storm. Now, Florida, your total precipitation as well as northern Bahamas, you can see it here. This is, of course, all this is from the Euro. And this is the heavy rainfall that you're going to be getting from this tropical storm. Very heavy rainfall down south. Florida Keys, I see over 8 inches, and it could get even higher, I'm sure. Now, here's a low pressure system so you can see how close it does get to you. This is on the 9th. It is a 988, 986, it goes down to a hurricane, 985. It pulls in, intensifies to a 967, and then it turns back into Florida. Now here is your uh, precipitation with the uh, millibars. That way you can see which side the storms are going to be on, and you will see it is pretty heavy, east side loaded. But once it gets to the 10th, it pulls away from your Florida, so you will get a break before it possibly comes back. And you won't be feeling too much. The rain band should be way over here uh, by the Bahamas. So we'll see how that pans out with the, uh, the cold front and the dry air. Then it comes back towards the Florida Panhandle, 988. And it gets some, some rough storms. It's still a tropical storm at this point. It's six hours later. Then six hours later, it starts dying off quickly. Now Miami, Florida Keys, this is your total precipitation that you're going to get from this rainfall from the storm and you can see where it's almost 10 inches way down here but most of the everybody is going to be about three inches five inches uh, on the east southeast of florida and then six to eight inches as you get further further uh, south now north carolina south carolina east tennessee this is what you're going to get virginia this is what you're going to get from that thunderstorm that's going to come across you got pockets of five to six inches real heavy in this area so please be aware of this. This, this storm system that's going to come across, not associated with this, is going to give you all some heavy rainfalls. Here you are, Virginia in the east. So you can see it. A lot of heavy rainfall coming from the storm system that's going to be passing by. Now the Bahamas, this is your total precipitation from uh, Tropical Storm Ada. So you can see what goes on. And it looks like your precipitation has lightened up very greatly. There is no purple in there whatsoever. So that's good news for you. Now, God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day. I just wanted to do a real quick update, let you know what was going on with this storm system. If you haven't subscribed before and you like the content I provide, I do update every day also. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell because you never know when my story is going to come out, kind of like this one. So bless you all today. I hope you all continue to have a great day. I appreciate you all for tuning in today. I'd like to say a blessing for all of you. God bless you. Psalm 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear with when thou judges behold i was shapen into an iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom purge me with hyssop 
and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall shew forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thy offer, thy altar. Amen. God bless you all today. Thank you for checking up the update. I hope that not a lot of you are going to get a lot of serious impacts. I hope this thing keeps weakening as we update. That would be really awesome. But have a great day. I appreciate every single one of you. All glory does go to God. <laughs> Amen.